Hey guys, it's Philip. I'm an artist here in San Diego and thank you for going through uh, half of the box with me on part one. I'm gonna go through the rest of this box with you on part two right now and it's gonna unveil a little bit more of my 2015, 2016 watercolor work along with uh, a lot of brush lettering that I went through uh, during a phase in 2015. So I hope you enjoy this and find some inspiration for yourself. Enjoy! Gonna go through the rest of this artwork with you and see what we come across. So this one was I, um, a bunch of different like cactus doodles. And I remember I mainly did these on Instagram where I think Instagram's video platform was only 15 seconds. So I decided to do like quick little like 15 second videos for each of these. And I was just using like two colors with watercolor. Obviously not that one, but I think I was uh, trying something different down here, but um, I think I really, I remember I really liked this one and like these were just like fun, you know, like really easy for anyone to do. I just laid down the color first, the background color, and then came in with um, Payne's Gray and did the line work. These are really easy. I remember like a lot of people watching that video and having fun with it. This one too, it was just a nice, easy, Fun. laying down the color in the background you get this like kind of wash going you leave some of the white on the background to show through and then you come in with the black pen these were just really fun like mostly I did these for videos this one a oh, little succulent I don't I guess you know it could go anyway these there we go yeah so these were just like fun ones to do this one <laughs> This one is so bad, but it like really shows, you know, where I was at the time, you know? It's, it's, it's so interesting to see, but you know, everyone starts somewhere. So this one too, like I remember I was trying to play with watercolor. It was really difficult. I was having a hard time. This one was actually, it's, it's really funny to see this because you know, I look at the ones I do now, so it's really funny to see this now because, you know, I'm like doing these type of pots. Like, this is like my current work and it's so funny to see where I've come. Like, I didn't know I was gonna do pots now. Like, I, it's actually really cute too. I, I think this one's actually really, really cool. I like the texture that it, I had it in here with the shadows coming from the side. I don't know, maybe I need to try watercolor again. Little bear. I was trying to do more like nature inspired work, I remember. Kinda cool. A little California bear. <laughs> little little flamingo. I think I took this flamingo and I made a pattern out of it and I put it on Society6, and then I ended up buying the, the, um, the phone case for my phone. Flamingos were really cool back then. This is, a, this is probably 2016. A little, little lobster. A little lobster for you. A little lobster. Rock lobster. I didn't finish this one. It was gonna be a pattern, you can kinda see it. I was just coming in here using like watercolor as a pattern. I don't know what I was gonna do this with this. Um, I probably was just playing with color. This is a lifeguard tower in Los Angeles. I lived in Hermosa Beach, so um, these lifeguard towers are all across the South Bay of Los Angeles. That's the best part. Here, this is a, I don't know if you could see it. It's a geometrical pattern. I think I was gonna use it. Um, for a watercolor piece that I never did. This, I think I was doing, this is so funny to see. This is like nowhere I am, nowhere close to where I am today. But I think I was trying to do something like baby inspired. I think a friend or family member was having a baby and you know, they asked for, you know, some illustration assets or something and I think I did this and threw, threw it in this box. <laughs> it's 
so silly. This one's actually cool. I have this on my website still. Um, and it's funny, people still purchase it today. Like this is one of my first uh, watercolor pieces and you know, people still like it. Still really enjoy this one. A bunch of little like arrows. These were like so big at the time in 2016 with like putting arrows on your walls or having them on your cell phone case. And I think I was trying to create assets to do something. I don't think I ever did. I don't think I scanned this in and did anything with it. But, you know, these are fun to do. You know, maybe we should do some gouache ones. I don't know. Maybe arrows will come back one day. Another you know, like, I mean, hasn't every every person ever done a, I don't even know how to, what is that? Monts, monstera, monstera leaves. But I think I was having fun. You know, I was just going in there and um, having fun with this. I wasn't doing anything crazy, you know? I think pieces of paper like this, uh, you know, go in there and doodle with your watercolors and see what comes out. I think that's what I was doing. I think I was trying to make a template out of all these things. I never did it. You know, sometimes, you know, you get so inspired to do something and then you turn the page and you never come back to it. A little, a watercolor palm, watercolor palm tree, if I can get close. This one's actually really cool. This, this turned out really nice. A bunch of different fall leaves. Autumn is my favorite. And you can kind of see like little leaves. I think I was gonna do another like cell phone case out of this. And I never did. But it turned out pretty cool. Yeah. Some pumpkins. These are always fun to do in watercolor. You know? This one actually turned out really cool. You know, like if you do this many flowers on a page, you'll learn a lot just from doing it by one, you know, one time. You'll see like, you know, I really, I really liked how this flower came out. You know, this one's interesting too. You know, I don't think I liked these necessarily as much or I had messed up maybe over here and then tried, you know, I just tried a bunch of different styles, but definitely like gives you a ton of practice this one was a lettering piece. I don't know if you can see it. It's Chill Vibes. It's actually from that lettering that I did in the previous video. Um, yeah, and then I just, I uh, did a piece of transfer paper onto this with the Chill Vibes. I put it on this um, watercolor paper and then I went in here and just started doing some watercolor work. Yeah, turned out pretty cool. I think I inversed it though. I put a black background on it and it turned out pretty cool. A bunch of just, you know, cactus doodles, you know, fun ones. This one, I remember painting that one and thinking I loved that green color so much. Look at that one. That one's kind of... This is just incredible. This is my favorite. My wife did this. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. She was painting with me and she did a good job. Here's some more watercolor flowers, just like some doodles. I think this whole box is just like filled with all of these watercolor florals. And they're like, you know, piece I was either gonna use for um, a template or, you know, maybe I was just doing it to practice watercolor, like leaves. This one's kind of cool. I think I started doing this line work around all this stuff and it wasn't turning out like I wanted to. I think it looks cool now, but like I stopped. Like you could see where I was doing it and then I probably got frustrated and stopped, you know, before I finished and probably threw it aside. Maybe I got frustrated or something. Oh, whoa. This is a wild piece. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like gold, but it's kind of cool. Like look how shiny it is when it hits. Oh, here comes some illustration work. Okay, cool. 
Um, there's a little piece, floral piece. Oh, a bunch of little ones. I oh, I made these into a template. I remember I remember doing these. So I, I scanned all this stuff in, I photoshopped all the white background out and made these transparent backgrounds for all of them. And I think I made a pack for Christmas or like a holiday pack so people could download and use these individual assets to make, um, you know, like stationery or cards. Made some big, you know, wreaths with these. Man, my camera is just not focusing, sorry guys bunch of these like packs yeah I think this is just like a fun I, no this was part of that pack so I put that in there and then you would um, take the file flip it and you can create this like large wreath I don't know if you can imagine like this part would flip over here and then you can write something above it it's my wife's name and my name I did these for our wedding, or our announcements, or our book, or something like that. I think it was for our book that I was talking about last time. So, you know, like made a ton of these, you know, different styles of like Ashley and Philip, different A's, different P's, different Ann's. Um, and for the paper, you know, like if you ever do lettering like that, they have. Um, you know, like sketchbooks that have like this thin paper that are that is specifically for ink. And it doesn't really like go through the back side of the paper. And it's like perfect, it's cheap. There's a ton of pieces of paper for it. And I use them, you know, here's that chill vibes from that thing. This is a little piece that I was um, inspired by Sam Larson. There's a little buffalo with like, um, a mountain. I remember he's like one of my favorite artists and um, I was inspired by his work and wanted to, you know, try a little buffalo of my own and let's see if this will focus. A little palm tree. Another little bear. I don't know if you could see it. was, um, this is just transfer paper. I don't know if you could see what I did there, but like, you know, I wrote wild and then I used transfer paper with another drawing and um, used the transfer paper to, to transfer the lettering with an illustration. So you could see like where it lines up. Well, yeah, can't move it because it's taped. But. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> I mean, come on, Home Alone? <laughs> One of the best movies ever. Some more uh, lettering for Ashley and Philip. Did a ton of that, because the book needed to be like the best. A little of these, some peas, some more peas. You know, my name needed to be perfect, so. <laughs> a little like, let's explore. Let's go explore. Seek and explore. Let's travel. Yeah. Little, little trees. Make. Make every day better than the last. A little anagram for a friend I did. I, I made this for him. It's an OC. Happy wife, happy life, obviously. Hola San Diego. That's where I live. So, oh, <laughs> oh wow. This is what I did for my 1K. So in my last video, I showed you what I did for 5K. 
This is what I did on my Instagram for 1K. Project. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. A little deer. Hello, deer. Hello, deer. It's on like some old, whoa. What is, <laughs> I did a Los Angeles type on the back. All right. <laughs> I wouldn't have seen that if I didn't flip over. Again, more of my name. Tennessee whiskey. It's all st uh, stippling. Stapling? I don't know how to pronounce it. Staple? Stipple? What do you guys say? Put it in the comments. <laughs> oh, um, I, I think this is one of my first uh, coloring pages that I did. So like, I ended up scanning this and then um, putting it on my website as a free downloadable you know, coloring page, which I do now. And this was probably one of the first ones I did. I think I started coloring, the, I started to, um, you know, shade this in and I was like, what am I doing? Like that's supposed to be for the coloring page. <laughs> um, little Hermosa Beach, where I used to live. Carpe Diem. Ah, uh, here's, um, okay. So it's backwards. <laughs> supposed to be wild <laughs> and I had messed up I did like a, a lino print of that previous thing I showed you um, carved it you know I did a lino cut and realized you know I never inversed I never inversed it so I think I still put it on Instagram and I, I just photoshopped it and flipped it <laughs> whoa this is heavy I did this for uh, Back to the Future. You know, they had Back to the Future Day. And this was my post on uh, Instagram for that. Whoa, this is heavy. Uh, here's that marker paper I was talking about. Almost there. Oh, here's a little one. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So this is all, um, This is just a bunch of lettering. Kind of warped the paper a little bit. I think I was using a pretty heavy pen for this, but it definitely works the best. Um, Cause then you can just scan it and you'll have all of that lettering. Another be kind, bad blood, dream. This was for my friend's book I did for him, Landon and Julia. They had a little, they had a wedding book and I put it together for them. I think I was going through a phase of doing some NFL, um, and cities, so Los Angeles. I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Evol Nation, one of my favorite bands. Uh, I, did, I did a bunch of uh, lettering for this company called Spritz. How you doing from friends? Pivot. From friends. It's my favorite TV show. Follow your bliss. That's my wife's uh, last name before she took mine. <laughs> um, be kind. The Black Mamba. I, you know, I love Kobe Bryant, so I did, I did some lettering um, for him. A bunch of pineapples. I don't think I did anything with this. But how cool are those? Man, these are all awesome. I don't know why I didn't do anything. Look at this one. It's all crazy. Ah, I should do pineapples again. Be the best friend. Be the best best friend. <laughs> You're my lobster from Friends Again. Let's see, what's this? MBJ? Don't know what that is. Another Friends reference, You're my lobster. Don't know what that was, MBJ. Today is the best day of our lives. So, I did some wedding stuff. 
Today is the best day of our lives. Today is beautiful. I love you. Like, I think I was just trying to get a ton of stuff for weddings. Be awesome. Of course, some ice cream cones. A bunch of like loosely drawn ice cream cones. Another like crazy one. That's kind of cool. These were fun. These were just with a brush pen, I think. Canada for, I think, Canada Day or something I did. So, line, line work of that Black Mamba I was talking about. Take risks. These are all just some more little illustrations of pineapples. You know, just sketches. Of course, my cactus, some snake. What is that? There's an owl? Cool. Man, I wrote that a lot. <laughs> All in. Nothing on it. Another lino print that I messed up. Obviously, it's supposed to be this way. <laughs> Bolt up. Isn't it supposed to be you are? You are my favorite. You are my favorite. <laughs> Black Mambo. These are, uh, yeah, these are brand new lyrics. I'm sinking like a stone in the sea. I'm burning like a bridge for your body. That's from brand new. One of my favorite bands. Did those a couple times. This is a dashboard confessional lyric. Hands down, this is the best day I can ever remember. Did that a couple times. Uh, another black mamba, hands down. Yeah, just a ton of lettering I did. Happy sprints and follow your bliss. That was that was it from the from this the rest of this box. I hope you enjoyed this one with all the lettering. All right, well, thank you for going through this the rest of this box with me. It was kind of interesting to see uh, where I've come from back in 2015, 2016 to where I am now. It's really interesting to see where the brush lettering work uh, integrated with a lot of the illustrations or watercoloring that I was doing at the time to create an actual like piece for Society6 or a print and to where I am now where I, I much more enjoy doing a full um, piece of, of, of artwork and I've kind of strayed away from all that lettering. It is kind of cool to see what I used to letter as far as like, you know, the lyrics that inspired me or some of the projects that came through as far as, you know, working with, you know, certain companies or even with friends asking me to do something for them. So maybe you can take that as inspiration for yourself. See if there's friends or family out there. Do a little bit more brush lettering. I have this box for part three that I'll go through with you. Um, but yeah, uh, come back for that for a part three and Give me a like, comment, and subscribe um, if you did enjoy this. All right, happy creating.